Congratulations. You've unlocked your vector robot. You've been trying out different custom firmware, seeing what you like, but you may have had some issues. For example, you may have realized that the vector app doesn't work with your robot anymore. Or maybe just simply the fact that you don't want to work with an unlocked robot anymore. So this is a quick tutorial on how to revert back your robot back to a production state, basically the exact same state it was before you did the unlock. So the first thing you want to do is open up Google. You have to use Google Chrome. You cannot use Chromium for this because it usually doesn't work. So once you have Chrome, you want to go to this website, devsetup.frogit.net. That'll bring you to a, a website that looks like this. Now, on the firmware selection screen over here, you want to change it from unlock prod to revert to prod. All right, now that's selected, you want to get your vector. Once you have your vector over here, you want to hold down the power button, and the backpack button, until he reboots into recovery. You'll know he's in recovery when one of two things happens. One, you've waited 15 seconds while he's on the charger, or two, the backpack lights come on. So, let's do this. You have to be on the charger in order to enter recovery. You cannot, be on the, you cannot enter recovery if your robot is not on the charger. So, keep holding. Eventually, the lights turn on again. Once the lights turn on or 15 seconds has gone, you can let go of the button. Now you just wait for your robot to reboot. It can sometimes take like it can sometimes take up to like a minute to boot into recovery. It usually takes about 30 seconds on average though. You can see here the robot has turned back on. And once he reboots to once he finishes booting, we'll continue. You know he's done booting when the head goes back up. All right, there we go. So now Vector is in recovery mode. You can see that because there's a link on his screen. My Vector screen's kind of damaged, but you can still make it out. Now what you want to do, you want to double click the backpack button. This will bring you to this key screen. As I said, my screen's kind of damaged, but you can still see that there's a key in there, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to go back to the dev setup website and hit pair with Vector. Now you want to choose your vector from the list. Minus S7R7, for example. So when I do that, and hit pair. Now, if your vector has a broken screen like mine, and it has USB, what you can do is you can connect, you can get, get your USB header, and plug it in here. And assuming that your recovery is what's known as, quote, a fact dev recovery, you can type ADB shell, which will bring you into the shell of the robot. Then do log cat, and then grep switch board no not lag cat log cat now you want to now you want to copy this code that shows up in the blue go back to chrome and then paste it in now if your, if your robot has a fact of recovery like mine does it it'll usually already be connected to wi-fi in my in my case yes it's already been connected to wi-fi so i just have to i just have to wait for it to wait for it to finish the update However, there's usually an extra Wi-Fi step if your robot does not have a fact dev recovery. So this can take anywhere up to, from like two minutes up to like 10 or 30 minutes. So I'll be back once this is done. All right, once your robot is done updating, it'll show a screen like this. So in my case, I can, dis I can disconnect my USB and I will just wait. It'll show the property of Anki screen with two backpack lights for a bit. And then once it, once it's done booting, it'll start to it'll start to revert to prod. So it's gonna move move the robot like this. This way, you guys can see. Most of the stuff happens in the top half of the screen, anyways. Nothing happens in the bottom half when you're unlocking or relocking, like I am. There we go. Now it says starting. There you go. Now it's restoring all the partitions. Right now it's on restoring recovery FS. Recovery FS is the longest step because recovery FS is one of the biggest parts for when you're locking or unlocking your robot. Since this keeps rolling, I'm just gonna put a screwdriver here or something. No. Not really a good way to hold the charger at a very awkward angle like this. Uh, 
I'll just hold it with my hands like this. So once it finishes restoring all the partitions, it's gonna clear the boot slots. Basically, that means it'll boot right into recovery mode. And then from recovery mode, you'll just set up with a vector mobile app like you normally do. Please wait. There we go. And now it's rebooting. All right. So now you just wait patiently for a bit. There we go. So yeah, due to the nature of how the revert to prod works, it will still show the property of Anki. But there you go, once it's done, Behind that says anki.com slash fee. So congratulations, your robot has been successfully reverted to production.